Yo, what is going on everyone? The Great Dansby here, bringing to you some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alpha. I know it's been a long time since I've posted, because honestly guys, I haven't felt like posting. <laughs> My life has been quite busy over the past, really for a couple of years now, why I haven't been posting much. But my life is about to slow down a little bit. So I just completed another master's degree. And therefore, I don't ever have to go to school again if I don't want to. <laughs> so I'm going to have a lot more free time. I've been killing myself over the last couple of years. You know, working full time, obviously teaching. And then, you know, doing some school. And it's just it's just been a lot. And I've had some health issues uh, recently as a playing ball and I tore my uh, MCL, my medial meniscus, and I'm not new to knee injuries. My right knee is uh, surgically reconstructed from a complete ACL tear and some other uh, partial tears, and I partially tore my uh, um, my medial meniscus in my left leg this time, as well as the, uh, I mean, I tore my medial meniscus in my left leg and my partial tears in my uh, MCL on my left leg as well. So now I have two bad knees. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so enough about that. Um, what else has been keeping me? Uh, my, uh, unfortunately, my my stepfather's health hasn't been the, the best. He had to have a quadruple bypass surgery just a few days ago, but looks like all that is uh, under control right now, you know. Happy about that. And I could, you know, finally breathe a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so here's some, uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Alpha going right now. I've only played uh, this one game actually. <laughs> I'm going to be honest and to be transparent. The only game I've played and it hasn't really inspired me to want to play more. Um, game felt pretty good though I have to say for a Call of Duty game. It felt smooth and, I, and albeit it's, it's 2v2. Um, I'm sure there's not much stress on the servers even though it's an open alpha if you have PS4 because there's, there's no chance I'm going to pre-order this on PS4. Even though maybe I might. I don't know. I'm not used to the PlayStation controllers playing uh, Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty on uh, on PlayStation 4 since uh, Black Ops 3, so it's a it's a little weird getting used. Not that I'm not used to the controller because I'm playing a lot of the show. I just haven't been wanting to to post. Actually, it's not even that I haven't wanted to be, been post, guys. It's just that I haven't really had much time to, and I've been doing other things with my time. I've been rehabbing my knee a lot, which is taking a long time. But what can I tell you about the game? Is that it plays pretty smoothly, I have to say. The gunplay feels good. Um, my aim was off a few times, and I'm not going to blame that on anything else except for my aim and not being used to uh, playing FPS games on this controller. Um, but I think I held my own in this, this round. I carried this... Uh, I carried my uh, teammate. I, <laughs> see, normally, I would probably usually be mad at that. I'm like, I got shot around the wall. But I also realized the second half, I didn't get shot around the wall. That He probably just got me, and he did. Absolutely. It actually lined up with the way that, that his body fell. And that's one thing that always used to get me in like um, other Call of Duty games. Just like you knew you were very far behind the wall, and then your body flew in a direction that didn't make sense based to where you were on your screen. And then when you watched the kill cam, you were like, "Yeah, it made sense." But yeah, stupid. Um, but this felt pretty smooth. Um, hit detection was really, really good. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it. I mean, I don't really like this format, this two v two tactical kind of, you know format like this, it's pretty much, you know, when you're, especially when you're playing with the random, it's like who gets to this power position first is gonna pretty much win. That's, uh, if you, if you watch this game, it's kind of how it went. Whoever got to the power position first won every time, and usually the team that, uh, got the first kill won. You know, that's, that's the one thing I don't like about this, is that, yeah, if you're playing with coordinated, with a coordinated person, maybe this would be cool. Um, I just don't like that you can't pick your loadout in this, it's just random, but for the, for the, you know, for, for an alpha, I, I would say it's fine. Um, so, what else can I say? Like the the guns felt good. the The deagle is super super powerful. Uh, it seems seems a two shot at like any range. It seems. Um, so people that like the fast kill type of games, this the fast time to kill Call of Duties, this might be one that you really enjoy. Um, I actually can't make a you know determination on how I think this game is gonna play. I don't I don't really know. You really can't tell from it from an alpha. You really can't tell from a beta how a full release of the game is gonna play. But I have to say, it did, it did feel smooth though, and if, if the game feels smooth, even though I don't like the time to kill, I think it's, it's way too fast. I tend to like games that have higher time to kills. The higher the time to kill, the more the more skill it takes to actually, you know, the more gun skill it matters. Um, games like this, when, when the time to kill is lower, 
It's not that there's no skill to it, there is a skill, it's a different kind of skill set though, you know, it's one that I don't enjoy playing as much. You know, it's more tactical, it's more like thinking, oh yeah guys, don't try a drop shot in this game, you drop shot, you can't shoot. Um, I found that out right there. Uh, they don't allow you to, uh, <clears throat> I think that, that was in Black Ops uh, 4 also, <clears throat> I think that was the thing and I had to get used to not doing that. So I'm gonna have to probably do that again, get used to not drop shotting because it looks like it's not viable at all, even though I read somebody on Twitter saying that you, you can, but no, apparently not because I tried to drop shot there and it doesn't let you shoot. Unless maybe it's an LMG kind of thing, I, I have no idea. There could be a lot of reasons there. I got a little too aggressive there and that's one thing that I realize you really can't do in this game. Also the jump shot it seems, it, it delays your shot also. So <clears throat> this is not a game, at least the way that I'm looking at it right now and the things I've tried, the jump shots and the, um, and the drop shots. Like you can't, it's hard to stop your sprint out, more or less, is, I guess that's probably the best way to say it. Um, so you can't, there are no tricks you can really do to, to try to stop that. So unless you have that perk that lets you sprint out faster or something like that, which I'm sure they probably have, or attachment. Um, this is gonna be a game that is more than likely not gonna be the best suited for uh, for running gunners. See, I actually thought I got this final kill cam here because I killed this guy right here and the game ends, but he killed his guy like the same exact time. Um, <clears throat> But, um, what can I say? Like, what else can I say? I feel like I've said what can I say 45 times in this uh, commentary. You can see that I'm a little rusty on this. And, uh, being into the summer, I haven't even been teaching. And I guess teaching is kind of like a commentary in, in some forms, you know, for a couple minutes only that you're actually, you know, engaging, but whatever. Um, but uh, if you're on PlayStation, I would say, uh, try, if you haven't hopped on the Alpha yet, hop on it. Give it a couple, uh, give it a couple goes. I'm going to probably give it a little bit more of a try, uh, later on today. But, I was happy with how smooth it played. If the final release of the game is smooth, even though I don't like the style of play of the game, I'll probably still enjoy the game, honestly. Um, I stopped playing Black Ops 4 in like January, I believe. So I haven't touched Call of Duty since then. And uh, this was my first game back. It felt, it felt fun. That's the, that's the beauty about Call of Duty. It's such a low, a low skill gap that you cannot play for a while and still really, you know, get back on it after like an hour. Like you saw my aim was not the best, but you know, I still want what I aim for here. So, yeah. I'll take a 2KD for not playing in a long time, but hopefully you'll be seeing some uh, videos from me soon guys And uh, I lost my partnership because I haven't been posting, but we're gonna try to earn a new one. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Laters. Bye